long-standing is the appropriate word because um, I was kind of here almost when this whole phenomenon began. I, I missed the actual beginning, which I think was a guy called Tacky191 or he was 183. 183, sorry, and the Norman Mayor. Joe, can you unplug that? Joe, this was this was and then dead. everything began in the South Bronx. And coincidentally, for some reason, I mean almost like a herd instinct. A lot of young studio artists got the urge, that, it was nothing to do with South Bronx, got the urge to go out on the street. Of course the famous ones are Basquiat, Keith Haring and Richard Hamilton, but uh, a lot of others who, conceptual artists, Paul McMahon, who now lives in Woodstock, Sherry Levine, a lot of really unexpected people were out um, doing work on the street. And these two things converged. It was like a perfect storm. Suddenly graffiti was uh, the happening thing. And you had uptown galleries like Sidney Janis giving shows. And it didn't often work because um, a lot of the South Bronx graffiti was very skillful, very decorative. But it, it worked because it was on very crude, it was on things, subway trains, it was on factory doors, it was on disgusting walls and things like that. And put it on the canvas and it just lost a lot of energy. There were exceptions like Graham L. Z, who was wonderful and also made great sculptures and things like that. Yeah. But by and large, and then suddenly you have something else, which was stencils. Stencils came in. They came in, I believe, they were adopted from Mussolini, as a matter of fact. I believe the Italian fashion used stencils a lot. And there was always ill feeling between, between the, the hand painters and the, and the stencil painters. And as you know, they were good. the street world is full of um, interesting little political swirls. It's become absolutely enormous. I'm just, to, to my amazement, the world of white wall galleries still it doesn't really know what's hitting it. And you know, somebody will be plucked out, like Banks has been plucked out, it's like they plucked out R. Crumb to try and legitimize uh, Zap comics and all of that. But they still haven't taken those kind of graphics into real account. There's so much art world energy now outside the White Wall galleries, which are more and more full of derivative fourth generation minimalism and really toys for very rich people. So we come to Stick. Stick had done something absolutely remarkable. He's, um, he's minimalist, I suppose. He's clean, he's neat, the work is very striking. It does not look designy in any weak way, it's just what he does. And his heart and soul are in it, and his politics are in it, and his heart is very much on his sleeve. And I, I feel stupid talking about art. Look at it. It's right here. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Thank you.